Aunt Louise's The Globe Alphabet. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Laurie Ann Walden. Aunt Louise's The Globe Alphabet. Author unknown. A stands for the anchor we cast in the sea, to hold the ship fast where we wish it to be. B stands for the baker who makes men their bread, the great staff of life on which nations are fed. C stands for a Chinaman, here one you see, walking amidst his plantations of tea. D for dromedary, or deserts he strays, and goes without water for many long days. E stands for elk, in cold countries he's found, with elks the American forests abound. F stands for the fruit that in summer we eat, and find so refreshingly cooling and sweet. G stands for giraffe, which is able, you see, to eat the top leaves from the branch of a tree. H for hippopotamus, savage and strong, by African rivers he wanders along. I's for Italian, an organ he grinds, J is for jewels of various kinds. K stands for kangaroos, sitting and leaping, hunters to kill them a keen watch are keeping. L stands for the lion, of forests the king, with terrible roaring he makes the woods ring. M stands for the mill, where by water's great power the wheat is ground down to a very fine flour. N stands for a nabob, a lord of the east, who likes on strong coffee and sweetmeats to feast. O stands for the organ, delightful the sound, in church when its music floats solemnly round. P stands for the peacock, a bird very vain, of feathers he sweeps on the earth like a train. Q stands for quadrille, which the little ones dance, as well we all think, as the children in France. R stands for reindeer, very swiftly it goes, carrying the Laplander over the snows. S stands for the sculptor, who statues can make, and portraits with chisel and mallet can take. T stands for the tiger, a terrible beast that lives in the jungles and woods of the east. U stands for the uniform, in which are seen the soldiers who fight for their country and queen. V stands for the vulture, a great bird of prey. W for the wagon that carries the hay. X for the xylographer, cutting on wood, a picture which printed he thinks will be good. Y stands for the yacht that bounds o'er the sea, a prettier cutter you don't often see. Z stands for a zebra, whose elegant shape the sculptor, we think, for his model might take. End of Aunt Louise's The Globe Alphabet